Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 26th of 2020. Well, it is titled NGST 10B Discovery of a Doomed Planet. So what do we see here? Well, this is an artist's conception, a drawing of a star and a planet that has been discovered around it. Now, this is a planet uh, that is called a hot Jupiter. And what that means is that it is a Jupiter like planet in terms of being a very large planet, but orbits very close to the star. And in fact, this is the fastest uh, moving planet that we know of closest and shortest period that we see and takes less than one day to orbit around its star. So if we think about that, what that means is that the year on this planet would be less than one Earth day here. It is whipping around that planet very, very quickly. And that can cause some difficulties for the planet itself when you're that close to the star many times closer than Mercury is to our own sun, the orbit is not going to be completely stable. And what's happening to this planet is that it is slowly spiraling in to the star. Now that could take millions of years still, but it will slowly get closer and closer and eventually the planet will end up getting torn apart by the tidal forces of the star. Tides work by a differential gravitational force in that they pull more strongly on the near side of the uh, object than on the far side. So if you can imagine the force on the near side of this planet due to the star's gravity is much larger than the force on the far side. And eventually as it gets closer, that will become strong enough to rip the planet apart. So eventually in the long run, this planet is doomed to become part of this star and to have itself completely torn apart. Now the question can be why is this an artist's conception and not an actual image of the planet and star itself and that is because that simply is not possible. We cannot take images of stars except with a very few exceptions of extremely large and extremely close stars to us. And even then, as we looked at with Betelgeuse a few weeks ago, it is very difficult. We just see a little tiny blob. The planet would be even harder to see because it is smaller and only reflects some of the light from the star. So it would be almost impossible to actually see any of these planets. So how do we detect them? Well, one of the ways and the way this planet was discovered is through eclipses. If the planet and star are lined up correctly, the planet can pass in front of the star, blocking out some of its light and in this case blocking out a couple of percent of the light of the star, dimming the brightness of the star and we can measure that. So there are a number of different transit uh, telescopes that are used to look for what we call these transits when a planet passes in front of a star and then to be able to do that and look over multiple transits to be able to determine the parameters of the planet its orbital parameters and its size so we can get a lot of information about it even though we cannot actually see the planets directly themselves. And one of the things we have discovered is that there are a number of planets that are called hot Jupiters, which are planets like this that are very close to their uh, stars, but very, very large. So not fitting with the uh, way we see things as forming in our own solar system where the large planets are much, much further away from the star. So in many ways, a lot of the fact that we've discovered now over 4000 planets outside of our solar system is making us rethink the way in which planetary systems form in the universe. So that was our picture of the day for February the 26th of 2020. It was titled NGST 10B Discovery of a Doomed Planet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.